So what you're gonna like about this is you're gonna get really great image quality. You're gonna like the fact that you don't have a cord coming out of it. You'll also like the fact that the thing holds a charge long enough that you're probably gonna charge it once a week or once every four or five days and it's very, very easy to do. My name's Tom Cook, I'm an emergency physician. I practice in South Carolina. I work with a big hospital organization called Prisma Health. We're also affiliated with the University of South Carolina. I've been there for 26 years after leaving the military after a 10 year stint. And um, 21 years ago, I took over the residency program as their uh, program director. And so I've been doing that uh, for the last couple of decades. And um, I got involved with ultrasound as soon as I arrived in South Carolina 26 years ago. Just been fascinated with every realm of the technology. So the Swiss Army Knife ultrasound machine is a great concept. Um, and the utility of it would seem obvious on the surface, but you're always banging up on this idea of, of image quality. Is it gonna provide me the image quality I need to do an adequate exam? And again, with my patient population, very challenging, very interesting pathologies, but difficult to scan them for usually obvious reasons. It's nice to have transducers that are more specific to the job. I still have found that ultrasound machines, which are still using crystals to generate the ultrasound signal, just to me provide better image quality right now. I don't know where that'll go in the future, but it's my perception that that, that trend's going to pretty much stay that way. And really for me, I tend to use a phased array almost exclusively because I can cover the chest, I can cover the thorax, I can cover the abdomen, I can cover the retroperitoneum, I can cover the pelvis, and at least nudge myself in the right direction. And if I need to get a better study or a higher quality image, I can go to another transducer and get that image. But by the same token, most of the time, all I use is this, with a few exceptions. One would maybe be peripheral access or something like that. But most of the time, this is all I have in my pocket.